so this module uh, talks about mongodb uh, of course it doesn't cover at all completely mongodb it just mentions certain features of mongodb what is covered with reference to the cloud with reference to the facilities with reference to the indexing when we talk of the no sql uh, model the the what comes to anybody's mind is mongodb so mongodb is kind of a poster child of no sql now this is good for uh, mongodb because uh, mongodb incorporated was earlier uh, 10 gen so uh, it becomes synonymous so in people's mind as people perceive that no sql synonymous with mongodb now it has its flip side also the flip side is that uh, when people go for mongodb they try to do things with mongodb for which it was it is not developed they try to implement their relational model on mongodb which of course it is which is which is not its strength it's it's not the purpose of mongodb mongodb is uh, is no sql and in module number 152 i will describe the differences between mongodb vis-a-vis no sql and my sql so they're different things one is relational other is non relational So that is the flip side. Now look uh, at the module coverage. So we will look at the JSON documents and language, effectively indexing. This is something very powerful feature of uh, MongoDB, which is which is not there in uh, other uh, databases which support indexing. Of course, all support indexing, and the MongoDB in the cloud that we will cover, and of course the licensing advanced features. you can download mongodb uh, from the net for free but it will not have certain features which are mostly desired by enterprises so let's look at this module in more detail so uh, json is a javascript object notation and this is a standard format for exchanging data okay and uh, it is popular and it is being used and its binary version json okay binary json is is supported is produced is offered by mongodb why because it reduces the processing time it gives good performance that is one reason now other is that there are many languages many many languages which are supported by mongodb and we have about like at the time of giving and recording this lecture there are about 10 languages which are officially supported by mongodb these are those 10 languages and there is a host of about more than 25 some people call it 30 and more than 30 languages which are unofficially supported by mongodb and these are those 25 plus unofficially supported mongodb languages so that, that 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 is another reason about the popularity of mongodb now let's talk about indexing now uh, any database as a matter of fact any and every database uh, can store data that is the purpose of a database now storing the data in a database is one thing and retrieving it quickly effectively that is something very different now in traditional databases uh, when i say traditional database it means the relational database in the relational database model we are using the concept of the primary key so the primary key is the unique key so basically used based upon the primary key we can uh, every record is uniquely identified and uh, using this primary key i can fetch that record right but that kind of a record primary key concept works in say for example financial environment in uh, inventory uh, in in a school or university but there are host of other applications where these concepts don't work directly right if say for example i am looking for haleem okay haleem i am looking for haleem and i would like to search for it i would like to search for it okay and how would i know that which recipe is good i would look for the comments i am looking for the comments searching for the comments so for that i need uh, mongodb provides a secondary index secondary index i can search and i i i will get the feedback about about haleem now the thing is that uh, i am not satisfied with only that feedback i would like to know that which recipes of haleem 
are using red meat okay are using red meat okay and also less cholesterol less cholesterol also so i am looking at multiple things okay and i may be and more than uh, this is not two it can be more than two also so i am looking at multiple fields right and then i can find what i am looking for now there is a flip side also the flip side also that if there are if i categorize the comments into four categories or five categories there are different combinations of comments first and uh, or there are different combination of the fields for example if there are four fields say for example if there are four fields so maybe i am looking at fields 1 2 or maybe 3 4 or maybe 1 2 4 or maybe whatever so there is a large number of possible uh, compound indexes so this is the flip side of the compound index so what is the solution the solution is that there is an intersection of indices intersection of indices which is shown over here also okay and that does not need a compound index you don't need a compound index and that reduces the disk and memory space also because you see with this i need lots and lots of combinations so for example i have this uh, indexes for the color over here for the red color for the blue color and this is for the product over here also for product and i can use an intersection of these indices and get what i'm looking for with reduced disk space okay so that is the advantage so mongodb in the cloud now mongodb has many cloud platforms uh, which support mongodb and the reason is obvious because 10 gen company was was is 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 a cloud based company and of course you can also have and host mongodb on your private cloud also so there's a lot of flexibility of hosting mongodb and finally what you get what you pay for so if you're looking for advanced features you can download mongodb for free but if you're looking for advanced features which of course come at a premium okay then of course you have to pay that premium what you pay is what you get for example if you need the mongodb management services which can take care of disaster recovery which is critical for a uh, for an enterprise you pay for it okay security integrations enterprise software integration you integrate mongodb with the software which is there and of course a certified operating system for uh, checking for, uh, for for fault tolerance also for authentication also and on demand training support commercial licenses so you can uh, you can have your uh, mongodb uh, embedded in your in in your commercial enterprise in your commercial applications for that you need license you have to pay for it so you have as a chief in, uh, information officer which you will become one day inshallah then you should be aware of the total cost of ownership total cost of ownership as a cio you should know all those things so you have to take care of all the things look ahead and be aware of where you are stepping that's all i have for this module thank you very much